Hello and welcome into the Sunday Sports Extra. I'm Andrew Shroff. We have another very busy show for you tonight. The Lamar baseball team was hoping to complete a four-game series sweep against LIU Brooklyn. We'll show you highlights from the Cards game today. Plus, former Ozean head football coach Keith McGee talks exclusively to KFDM Channel 6 about why he resigned from Ozan. That coming up in a bit. But first, we begin with high school boys basketball. Monday and Tuesday of this week are the regional quarterfinals of the playoffs, and my next guests will be busy taking on Pflugerville Conley in that round. Central head basketball coach Robert Lee joins me along with a few of his players. Coach, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having us. No problem. So you guys had a difference of games, I guess. Round one, you won by one over Umble. In round two of the playoffs, you beat Waller by 33 points. What can be credited to that turnaround? Well, first of all, you know, coming in as a first place team, you know, playing a fourth place team, you know, it was kind of uh, getting, keeping the kids focused, you know, because you can look at uh, LCM, you know, played uh, uh, CE King, and uh, CE King was the first place team. And, you know, you, you get to the point where you start taking these teams light because, uh, you know, they're, uh, where they're seated. But uh, I feel like when you get to the playoffs, you know, everybody, uh, you know, want to win. So I think the, uh, you know, uh, the rating, I don't think they have anything to, you know, to do with it, but it, the keeping our kids focused to get them ready to play a fourth place team, that was sort of, uh, you know, that's why we got a slow start. And uh, I'm glad we pulled that one out. So, Nigel, uh, that one point win over Umble in the first round, was that a good wake up call, you think, for the team? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, I, uh, we were, I'm one of the leaders on the team, so we almost lost to Umble. I kind of blamed it on myself because I, I felt like I had to get my team prepared for the game the right way. So when the next game came around, I made sure, you know, all series we business. It's about business so we can get to the next round. Since you guys were number one for part of this year, you're used to having that target on your back. Playoffs, everyone has the target on your back. You guys probably have it even more knowing that you were the number one team. Did that help you guys prepare for the playoffs? In a way it does, but you know, championships aren't won in January or December, so that number one ranking really didn't mean anything. They won in March. So when we come out, it's like, you know, fight for the, fight, we fight for each other. We're not worried about what the other team playing do. We're going to make them play our game. Ja'Cory, those two losses in January were two district opponents, Nederland and Ozan. Three of those teams, you guys, Ozan and Nederland, from the district that made the tournament in 24A, are still alive. What does that say about the district that you guys were in? Say so we're very competitive. We get out to each other. Did that help prepare you, I guess, for where you are now, too? Yeah, it helped prepare us because when we play against them two teams, it's like a playoffs atmosphere. So they crowd be loud as playoffs atmosphere. So it really prepared us. Et, I always ask this for once the playoffs start. The further you get, the further away you have to go from, let's say, the Golden Triangle. Mm -hmm. Does it? Does that change how you guys prepare for games, knowing, hey, this could be a two-hour bus trip here, two-hour bus trip back? Um, yeah, because we gotta we gotta go farther, and we're playing a different gym, so we gotta uh, get a cousin to the gym and stuff. Yeah, um. We, and our crowd, our crowd, we, they travel with us most of the time. So it's really like we're playing at home most of the time because our fans are always with us. Fans are going. There's excitement across Central High School, obviously, at the start oh, yeah. of this year and still now. Coach, what's been the excitement level like since the playoffs have started? Well, you know, the community, you know, our, our fans, our parents, you know, everybody has uh, jumped on the bandwagon, you know, and... Uh, it brings a, a, a good atmosphere, a happy atmosphere, you know, on, on the campus, you know, and uh, everybody's behind us. And hopefully we can continue winning. And, and, you know, our goal is Austin, you know. But like I said, we have to keep our focus, you know, day by day and uh, do what we need to do to win one game at a time. Austin, of course, the goal, what would it mean, Nigel, for you guys to go to Austin? I mean, the world, you know, we want nothing more but to go to Austin. That's our goal. That was our goal October the 24th when we started practice. You know, that was, that was the big thing from day one. That's, that's our goal, it's been our goal last year. That's all we want to do, we want to go to state. Do you guys sort of almost dream a little bit about playing at the drum, Frank Irwin's event center and in front of everyone and almost hoisting the trophy? Is that something that starts to creep in your mind, I guess, about this time, Ja'Cory? Yeah, we, I think, I dream about every game, just us winning and going farther and farther. Like, I dream that I'm walking around the campus with a ring on my finger. <laughs> <laughs> no other central team has uh, won a state before. Um, we got a chance to make history. And we got, a, we got a, a pretty good team. We can do it. Thank you very much, Coach, and best of luck in the tournament. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you so much.